So we're gonna head into my little bitty workshop here. It's the cradle I made yesterday. We got pretty high ceilings in our garage. Can, sorry, a little probably too fast. Lots of lots of overhead storage. It's nice to have that much height. Oops, too fast again, sorry. Anyway, there's a cradle. There's the rest of the workshop area. Drill press will eventually get moved when I put in a mini mill. Um, let's see. Inside there, you can see this bench grinder. This pulls out. So it's kind of out of the way. I can pull it out and use it like that, and plug it in, and then it's out of the way. The um, couple I use the I use the um, plans in the in the appendix of the book um, to make this. A couple adjustments I made. Um, I took a skateboard wheel or a inline skate wheel and put it on the end. I don't like the idea of having to remove a recoil pad all the time um, to to get traction there. Um, so that works out good and I put wing nuts on either side um, to get traction. You see my, I need to work on my cutting skills because this sucker's crooked, but uh, it's straight, straight on this part. The other end, I took, on the inside of that, I took a piece of foam, a uh, pool floaty, and epoxied that inside um, to cover, give some padding around the, the end of the bolt, or the, yeah, the end of the bolt there, um, to protect the end of the stock. Other than that, pretty much the same. There you see the black powder stained. Put the first coat of oil on that yesterday too. And that's pretty much a wrap. So the next thing we do is put another coat of oil on this and sand it wet, get that slurry going, and um, then we'll be ready to checker tomorrow evening, or start checkering tomorrow evening.